Welcome back to a little panda suit. Listen, I know I've had like over a year to catch up on Discovery and I still haven't. And here we are yet again with season three already started and I still hadn't finished season one. So I literally just did that just now. And as you may remember, I made a video where I like was gonna start watching season one again, but I did that thing where you're like watching a series but you don't really care so you kind of lose where you are and then you're trying to find where you are and you don't know how much you've watched and keep remembering things as you're watching it so you know you've already watched it. Anyway, I found where I was and I watched the rest. I mean, I gotta say, I hate to say it, I like honestly, I can't believe we're talking about Discovery Season 1 right now. I hate to say it, it got a bit better after Lorca died. I mean, I hated Lorca so much and it made sense because obviously Lorca wasn't of the Federation, which was my whole like problem with him. He just didn't have that vibe. So I guess that's what they were going for. I guess they got me, but yeah, I don't know. It doesn't have a Star Trek vibe. And I feel like they're trying to kind of force the Star Trek vibe with Michael. Anyway, it kind of redeemed itself a little bit. And we're actually going to be doing a hybrid video today. So that's what we're doing. We're going to be talking about um, discovery and what we're going to be doing going forward and we're also going to be building Lego. I got this set when I got all that other set I showed you I think in another video and I built it because I felt like it and I thought I had recorded it but I really didn't so I destroyed it today to rebuild it for you while we talk about Star Trek Discovery Season 1 and how we felt about it. And by we, I mean me. And I can't believe I'm making this video right now, but we're doing it because I feel like I can't move on to season two without finishing this like series off because we didn't, we just didn't talk about it. So that's going to be, that's a problem. Anyway, let's just get started here. I do have to say, I really, really liked the gold armor of the Terran. It was sick. I want it. I want to wear it. So the whole plan is now that we're done, Discovery Season 1, we can move on to Discovery Season 2. Listen, everybody says it gets better, but... And they say there's this character, Captain Pike, who's obviously introduced to the end of Season 1. When the Enterprise shows up, which is obviously also a redeeming moment, I feel like... It's not fair that they put that in, because then I can't be mad at it. Because, like, how can I be mad at the Enterprise showing up? Obviously, I have to love that. But Burnham's speech at the end was really lame. And I don't know. The romance is so corny. This is not going as planned, so I keep just talking. But yeah, that's, the plan is to do season two. Uh, and then hopefully, if I just do that every week starting now, that's the, that's the idea, guys. Although, I'm going to start working again really soon. And we'll see how it goes. I figure if I'm just like... If I watch it on like a Thursday, edit it on a Friday, I could do that. Yeah, so we'll get through season two, and then by the time I'm done season two, season three will be done, and I can do season three right away. I know, I'm always late to the game, though. It's kind of lame, and I'm sorry. Honestly, wish I could be a bit faster about it, but such is life. I take on a lot of things. I just like to do everything. I can't stop myself. It's a problem. So this channel is clearly... Oh my god, I hate these goddamn skeletons. I can never get these things in and I don't, I just have my nail polish. I don't fuck it up. I already mess it up. You just, you just don't get one. So I'm excited for season two. I'm not gonna lie, like Picard's done. We're filming a bunch of Star Trek, which is awesome. And I'm stoked. There's so many and there's a new one and I'm excited about that. Oh yeah, I sort of told you guys about this Lego set, like in my last Lego video. And I was mistaken about what I had actually built. This set is called the Taiga Adventure, as if I didn't do any of this right. This is just like, this is gonna be a fun video. This is called the Taiga Adventure. It has Steve, it has a skeleton, it has a wolf, and it has a fox. So I was mistaken in my last Lego video because I was like, didn't I build a cat last time? It wasn't a cat, it was a fox. They look very similar. They are different. I'm not sure if I've gotten a wolf before. I'm trying to think. I'm Yes, I think I do have one wolf. This is awesome though, because I just like get to build my collection of mobs. And I saw that they're releasing new Lego, new Minecraft Lego soon. So here's the wolf. 
and my light's kind of bright. I kind of actually don't like one of the sets that they're doing. I actually don't like a lot of the sets that they're doing now because a lot of them are about like, I don't know, I'm like love hate with the pillager thing. I hate the pillagers in the actual game because I'm afraid of them and because my shield work is not great and that is like a highly needed skill when fighting pillagers and pillagers come after you. If you're within 64 blocks of a pillager, it will fucking come after you. 64 blocks. And I'm not a huge fan. Like, give me a villager set. Did they do that before? And I just don't. I was late to the game. I just don't have it. Retired set or something. But, like, give me a villager set. That would be sick. The llama is cute. I'll give it that. But, like, that's it. So that's only because I'm a sucker for animals. I guess I like characters. So it's, like, good to have more characters but i don't know so anyway they're coming out with like more pill they already have like a pillager outpost one that i already have i don't know why they keep building those and then they're coming out with like a, a honeybee one which i guess is okay it kind of goes with the panda theme as they had like a the panda one which i also thought was kind of random the only thing i like about it is that it's panda and we're all pandas here so you know i just think that it's not like true nest like yeah it's a thing in minecraft but it's really new and i just feel like they're doing all these new things where i feel like they could be maybe doing some i don't know other stuff but what do i know maybe they ran out of things to do I've... and i'm just sad because i missed out on some of the cool things that we could have had i missed my chance to buy the one set i like desperately want which is the mountain cave should have bought it but now i can't buy it and or i can but it's like double the price people reselling stuff and fuck that noise i'll cry about it every time i'm trying to do this quick because i really don't want this to be a long video but it won't shut the fuck up and keep talking and i guess we're swearing on this channel now like this is the time like like to have different bot did they do all the biomes like they could be doing like some of the pre-existing structures like like the um desert temples that would be cool did they do that like i want a desert temple did i miss out on the desert temples too i just think that there's a lot of potential with minecraft i mean that is minecraft like the whole idea of minecraft the game which is why it's so amazing and why i love it so much is because there is so much potential and you can pretty much do anything although now with these pillagers it's like you got to watch your back which is kind of annoying so it's like even if like what if i'm just chilling what if i'm playing the game proper like and like some of them like the new mob that like kills you if you don't sleep after three days i mean it's probably a good thing my dream is to make one giant like map like it would be sick if it was in the in a square because that's how they are in minecraft one giant map with like a bunch of different biomes like mixed in like they actually are in minecraft like you were actually like there that would be that's what i want and i've seen people do stuff like that online like on instagram and stuff but you really need a lot of lego and lego is really expensive so you really need a lot of like the same color you'll, you'll notice a lot in like some of the bigger sets they have usually have like a bunch of different colors like unique kind of color tiles and stuff like the beige is the desert this is obviously the taiga grass color it's not the same as the regular green if you had more of those pieces you could in theory put them all together and make like so what i was thinking was maybe one day i would take apart all of my minecraft lego and separate all of the i'm like staring at it it's on the shelf there's like so much of it take it all apart separate it all by color and then make the different biomes myself i feel like i'm pretty sure that's what people did but they must have some like really big sets and like a lot of them all right we are done good because this has already been a little bit too long so we need to put steve in here sick okay steve you're gonna kick his ass and he's running out him like it was fun because you can like make them be doing actions. My Iron Golem is constantly singing opera on my shelf and I appreciate it every moment of the day. Yeah, because wolves hate you guys. The fox is just chilling. Cool, they're all after you, bud. They're gonna get you. Oh, wait, is he supposed to be standing in the fire because he's on fire because he's a skeleton and it's daytime? Obviously. Why doesn't it show that in the manual? Oh, it shows it on the box. Aw, oh, it also shows Steve picked a flower. Aw, oh, Steve. Let me get you one, bud. You know, it's the little things in life 
It's the details. All right, there we go. Normal dude Steve holding a flower. We've got the skeleton on fire because it's daytime, except it's actually not daytime. It's like almost 10 o'clock. We've got a fox, which does look very much like the cat. Like, I didn't show you guys, did I? It's like, look, it's like really similar. The only difference, I'm pretty sure, is that the cat has a flat tail. Anyway, that was all. Um, I vow to start watching season two of Discovery um, immediately. Anyway, thank you for watching today's video. Please give this video a thumbs up if you want to and subscribe somewhere down there. And I guess just live long and prosper or something.